Good morning, who? Oh, because just I waked up, sorry. Good morning. Good morning, who? <laughs> good morning, everybody. Nah, good morning, Dr. Samoy. I pass. <laughs> oh, no! Good morning, baby! You know, you're good for this, Miss Amma. The mobile, I can't be just this. Ask you, sure. Good morning. <laughs> Feeling like a bit Just like a excited. No, I would be excited if my sister just passed her exams. <laughs> Sorry, I don't like this, guys. I should probably explain what's going on. I literally didn't even talk in all of this video at all. But um, I just got my results for medical school finals. It's been a tough finale, to say the least, because... It's um, been emotional with everything that's going on in the world. Yeah, it's been a tough... <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> yeah, like it's my... <laughs> Yeah, it's been it's been a tough finale to say the least, because I think I don't think anyone in my year group in general, when we signed up to med school, did we imagine finishing in the middle of a pandemic, and where like the word doctor means something I think completely different to like when we started. It holds a different meaning to it now, um, and. I just feel like super obviously as you guys can see overwhelmed because I've been working my pretty much since I can remember I've been a bookworm um, and I've been working since I was like 15 maybe even younger since I was in year 9 I was been, I've been working towards something and when I was 16 I've been working towards this specifically and I think people don't really realise like how hard it is until you like get into it like I'm not even talking about med school I'm just talking about the whole process of it so I know a lot of you guys will be watching this and like you want to do medicine you message me all the time 
or like there's something that you really want to work towards and you want motivation and like when you reach the end I feel like that is probably when you need the most motivation because it's so close it's so close but like at the same time like you're not there yet so just remember that you will get through it and like at the other end is like this amazing prize of everything you've been waiting for and everything you've been working hard for and how proud you'll feel of yourself and how proud your family will feel like when I found out my results I don't even think I like that in an eyelid like I think I was like happy like yay thumbs up but when I told my mum that or my sister or my parents and my like everyone that's when I got emotional because like like you know you've like made them proud as well so that that's what I feel really really happy about um whilst I'm on this video I've filmed um another video called my medical school diaries in which I told you guys about my SJT exam so whilst I'm on here I might as well reveal to you guys um I got 43.2 in that exam I think the state average or like the average of the country is 38 this is out of 50 by the way um so I did very very well um and I was really really happy with that if you guys want to know how I revised for that then just click on that video um, so yeah, I, I did that exam and I did well in it, so I thought I'd reveal the results for that as well because so many of you guys have asked me for it. In which case, I can also tell you guys that I have secured myself as a result a very, very good job that I'm really happy about in my top choice hospital and, um, I'm working basically in a North London hospital. So, don't give up on your dreams, work hard towards them. I had to take a gap year to be able to get to where I am today. And I, is that anything? Probably you finished. I finished and technically this is just the start, but um, wow. <laughs> yeah, I think it's like so much to take in. Um, and How do you feel, Sophie? I feel really, really good. Like, as I feel really emotional. Because it's the end of an era. Not because it's the end of an era, I just feel like, you, you know. the answers to all mm. your hard work obviously, obviously yeah like it's everything you like work hard for it's everything you pray for it's everything that you wanted but i think i feel emotional because it's just like i know how hard i've worked to get here sorry silence i know how hard i've worked to get here and I'm the interviewer <laughs> <laughs> the bbc yeah i know how hard i've worked to get here and like i just think that's why i feel probably the most emotional about to any of my friends who are watching, um, I love you guys so much and like we made it, we did it. To a lot of my friends who are one year below and integrated, you guys are going to make it too. You're going to be amazing doctors. All my friends are amazing and this is for us. <laughs> Why are you guys so sad?